No, that's not my line. Hey there! Today we'll have a look at a Caveco. Another Caveco. This pen was lent to me by Caveco. It's going back to Caveco, so I will not be keeping this. Uh, and Caveco, I have, a, I have a special bond with Caveco. The reason being that one of the first pens I ever bought when I got interested in fountain pens was the Caveco Sport, the clear model. And I think Caveco typically does a nice job. Uh, so I, I like this and I was quite excited to try this one out. You always get these, these pens in these cute little tins, uh, which I think are actually very, very nice. Very uh, stylish, but also a bit vintage looking uh, packaging. This is a sport model, but this is the brass. The, the traditional sport is plastic, and they have all kinds of stuff. Then they had the, the raw aluminum, and now you have this, this brass. And I think there is some cool stuff with this pen. So. Uh, I'm going to cover the past the pen tone, I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the very top of the pen. The finial. Caveco in three syllables uh, in that logo. I think it's, an, uh, again, a very nice, stylish, vintage logo. The cap with those nice facets and the barrel that tapers down, and of course it says Caveco Brass Sport, uh, which I, I, I think is nice. It also says Germany, and it is brass. Brass is fairly heavy, and you feel that. Very robust pen. The plastic pens, of course, the plastic are very light, uh, but this actually has some weight to it. The cap unscrews very smoothly. You can easily screw that in there, just one go. I think it's very cool. Um, posts. Posting is necessary, I think, for me at least. It's it's very small otherwise. So the posting, I'm going to do that, try and do that so that you can actually see the logo. Okay, I failed. And this is what it would look like posted, so you have a, a decently sized pen. Definitely heavy and robust. Pull that off, give you a look at the pen. Uh, so here we have the pen, uh, we have the, the nib and the section. I find these sections to be quite comfortable, very simple. Uh, this is, whoops, sorry, this is metal threads. They are a bit sharp, but when I hold it, there is enough section to hold onto, and it's so pleasant to hold onto uh, that I, I have no issues with the with the sharp threads. Um, the nib is a double broad. I'll come back to that. Nice thing about Caveco nibs that you can get them from extra fine to fine, medium, broad, double broad. Uh, the nib units are not that expensive relatively speaking I suppose uh, and they are interchangeable so you can easily make an entire lineup from extra fine to double broad and just play around with it a bit that is nice uh, right now in here is in fact a Caveco cartridge uh, and that's just that Caveco cartridge but it does also fit the Caveco squeeze converter not I mean it, it is a nice attempt uh, that Converter doesn't draw up that much ink. You're probably better off taking a cartridge, maybe refilling it if you really want to maximize your ink capacity. But if that's too much trouble, then you can always use one of those squeeze type converters. Regular converters don't fit. It's it's too short a barrel, um, so that that's just not going to work unless you use some type of mini converter like the Templar mini converter. I think that fits in this pen. Uh, and there are a few, uh, there is that um, Monteverde mini converter, but the problem with that is that it has a little piston that sticks out. I don't know if it would fit. I've probably tried it at some point, but I forgot. Yes, I'm getting older. Too bad. Live with it. Okay, here we have the rest of the pen. I like it. Solid material. What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? I like the Sport model. I think the Sport is a nice, easy, good sized pen. It's small. You can easily put this in your pocket um, and you can uh, cap it, you, or that is post it. You get a decently sized pen that's comfortable to use, usually very light, but as I said with the brass, quite heavy. I like that. I like the uh, these facets. Um, let me just see that with the background thing here. Uh, I like those those facets. I like the interplay with the facets and the round barrel. I think that that works. Uh, it's it's a cool looking pen. It's a fun pen. It's fun to play around with. These are things I like. What do I not like? Well, being brass, it's a bit more expensive than the plastic ones are. But hey, that's to be expected. It's a different type of material. Uh, it, it, I'm assuming it takes more work to uh, chisel this out, etc. Um, so I, I understand this is a bit more expensive. My issue with this particular pen. Um, and that's always the, the dilemma you face as a reviewer. Uh, you get one pen, right? And there are a lot of these out there, and I got this one. It had a double broad nib, and the nib was unusable. 
it was just unusable. It was clean, it was flushed, did everything I should do with it. I inked it up and the pen didn't write. It skipped crazily, it ran dry, uh, even though the nib slit was, was fine. So it was actually, um, it was actually uh, uh, well tuned, but I think it was over polished. With broader nibs, that is a real risk, right? The, the baby's bottom syndrome. Um, so I had to take care of that. I took care of that and now it writes fine. But if you buy a pen like this, this current model costs 69 euros. Uh, that's not that cheap. Uh, I think I, I bought my uh, plastic sport a long time ago for 20 euros, something like that. So this price has more than tripled and you get an unusable nib. Now that does not at all mean that all Caveco double broad nibs are unusable because I've used other ones that work fine. But quality control wise I think that is a bit of an issue. So something to, to be aware of and if you are able to go to a shop that sells Caveco, I'm in the fortunate position that there are a few shops in the area that do, uh, I would definitely go and try it out because order, ordering it online may mean that you end up with a pen like this which is basically unusable nib wise. Okay, having said all of that, uh, I think the nib should write clearly, straight out of the box, um, but even so, with just a little bit of um, polishing, I, I was able to, to get the baby's bottoms out, but not everyone is able to do that or willing to do that, so a bit of an issue. I like the weight of the pen, I like the balance, I think you need to see it in action, that's what we're going to do next. Measurements of the pen, as well as high resolution pictures of the pen and the writing sample will be on my website, sbrebrown.com. Hope this was useful so far, I thank Caveco for lending me this pen, it's coming back to you right now, and uh, that's all this to it so far, I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Caveco Sport Brass in double broad and the ink is Caveco Blue. As I said, this nib had uh, quite some issues uh, when I got it. Had to work on it a bit. And of course you could say, well, why don't you leave it that way? Well, that was because it hardly wrote. It ran dry so quickly that there wasn't really much to show. But as I mentioned, that is what happened. Okay. You can see that on fast writing, there still is quite a bit of skipping. Now it is smooth paper, but there still is some skipping. Wetness. Not an excessively dry, uh, sorry, excessively wet pen. And if you try to squeeze line variation out, it just railroads almost immediately. And then runs dry again. Well, this is kind of what it wrote like when I got it. Okay, reverse writing for those of you who enjoy such a thing, possible, and then you go from extra fine to, well, a good fine, I would say. Okay, thanks a lot to Caveco for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later.